Microsoft Viva Learning is now getting academies, learning academies to be exact, and those features provide some new capabilities for organizations. So I thought I'd take a moment to do a video to explain why does this matter and what is this particular feature set and why is it exciting? So let's talk about why does this matter? Right now, organizations have undergone a lot of change as it relates to employee growth, skilling, and development. And in that process, what we've learned is that we've transitioned from traditional LMS and capital L learning system modeling towards an employee learning experience. And that learning experience layer is something that Viva, Microsoft Viva Learning especially, sits really well in because what it provides is this way to socially share. It provides a way to connect with learning in the flow of our work. So inside of a Teams message context or inside of the apps that I'm already using like Teams. And that experience layer is a big deal because learning shouldn't feel like a thing I have to go and do. It should feel like a thing that I can do uh, in the flow of my work. And there's a wonderful features that they've added over time, like the ability to book some time in your calendar, right, to explore that learning, or the ability to create learning paths, which is the way, you know, we can structure multiple items of learning uh, in a flow so that people can kind of complete that flow, whether it's bring your own learning from, you know, some SharePoint uh, PowerPoints that people need to review and so on and so forth to, you know, traditional LMS systems that are brought into this experience, right, where, you know, you have that, you know, full flow through of those capital L learning, uh, mandatory learning objectives. And if you don't know this, one of the things that makes Viva really successful in the market is that elective learning is very high when you use something like Viva Learning. And mandatory learning is pretty good generally, but it's even better as well in terms of, uh, you know, consistency because it's built into the flow of work. But that elective learning is really interesting. And what we've seen uh, across the industry is that a lot of organizations are seeing uh, learning academies um, as a next step in learning and development. Essentially, they go beyond learning in the flow of the work experience, and they focus on, instead of program quality or user adoption, which are important, they focus on growth, right? Um, so you want to help people advance their skills so they can take on new positions or become a manager or a leader. That uh, transition path and how we support that Often we do by creating focus uh, places of learning um, that are you know structured that provide different pathways going back to learning pathways um, that allow them to catalog and understand and engage with their learning, and um, you know that includes contextualized assignments, recommendations in the context of the academy, and much more. I I like to present this kind of like uh, the difference between traditional LMS systems and like centers of excellence, right? There's a divide there. And what learning academies kind of do is they start to get closer to bridging that divide, right? Because centers of excellence um, have communities, they have other uh, uh, effective elements to it. And an academy could benefit from those things in the same way. Um, and this is why uh, Viva Learning, having academies is such a big deal because Viva has Viva Engage, which is a community uh, platform. It has, you know, collaboration tooling. It has other tooling that helps you, you know, from a signal perspective, understand your gaps, whether it's Pulse uh, for understanding as a leader, what can I work on uh, to improve, or whether it's things like data signals from Viva Insights around, you know, what, what, what am I potentially doing digitally that could be a better digital behavior, like, you know, accepting meetings earlier, you know, uh, helping manage work-life balance and so on and so forth. So, so these um, insights that we get from the holistic Viva experience set or the employee experience set become really helpful when they're combined with you know, a more advanced version of learning, uh, which again is something like an academy model. So that's basically why I think it's important today. Now, um, what is it is also really interesting. Essentially today, it's this way to connect your uh, learning paths and curate a number of different resources in a catalog that people can go to. These can be targeted to employees, um, so that's very, very helpful. It can be uh, used in a way that allows people to engage. Uh, it allows for different types of measures, as you can think about, like, how do we measure, you know, a learning object? How do we learn, measure a learning pathway and its success? How do we measure a learning catalog? How do we measure a learning academy? So there's all sorts of benefits that this will provide over time when we think of our own learning data journey um, as we try and optimize and improve. And it certainly provides an organizational benefit um, that's pretty immediate in most organizations today, which is, you know, 
that there is this gap. You know, I'm I'm providing my interests, I'm providing skill information, I'm doing all this wonderful stuff, but I'm I'm now having to go and like navigate to learning paths. And yes, you know, Viva Learning allows leaders and peers to recommend those learning paths to you, and there's some wonderful benefits that that provides. But having academies, I think, is is a is a kind of a no-brainer for Microsoft, and I'm so glad that that's coming very soon to Microsoft Viva Learning. Now, the last comment that I want to make on this as we look forward is, you know, Copilot is going to affect, Microsoft Copilot will affect Viva Learning at some point in the future. And I want you to think about the fact that Microsoft still has arguably the strongest skill-based platform in the marketplace, which is LinkedIn. And when you combine your interests and skills and how these things measure that as well as your LinkedIn information on skills and those uh, areas of interest, um, you can see why Microsoft might have a greater advantage in the marketplace to be you know, uh, a great growth partner for employee journeys uh, on both sides of the fence, right? On the you know, uh, much more external LinkedIn side and the much more internal Viva Learning side. And so um, you know, I can't talk about Copilot yet for Viva Learning, but I will suggest that there's a lot of opportunities um, where it can you know, help people uh, make sense of learning, accelerate their learning, and improve that experience. And having academies means that this is a little bit more organized, which means it's a little bit easier for those types of tools also to have an impact in the future. You know, stay tuned for more, and I hope this was useful in understanding why are learning academies may be useful in your own learning uh, pa paradigm and patterns. And then what is this particular feature set? You know, learning paths with categories, with uh, targeting, uh, with the ability to uh, have these integrated learning plans um, uh, over time, maybe someday coaching, mentoring, like I suggest with AI and things. There's many, many ways that this can be improved. But for now, um, we're just excited to have a better way to organize and share our learning.